Ready to start producing your T4 slips? Before you start producing these forms, you'll want to make sure that all the appropriate information is included on them. Watch this lesson to learn how information is populated on the T4 forms and about the process of creating and submitting these forms. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to verify your CRA program account. Then you will learn about the process of creating T4 slips and about the different options available to submit the T4 information to your employees and to Revenue Canada. A payroll program account is a required account number assigned to identify your company when dealing with the Canada Revenue Agency. Let's verify your company has yours set up in the Company Information window. In the program, open the Utilities menu and then select Company Information. When the 7-2 menu opens, select the CRA Program Accounts button in the bottom left of this window. Here in the sample company, we have a payroll program account already set up. Let's select the number and click Edit. This 15-character payroll program account number contains the 9-digit business number. The business number is a unique federal government numbering system that identifies your business and the various accounts you maintain. It consists of the 9-digit business number, two letters for the type of account, for the payroll program, the letters are RP, and four numbers for the specific account reference. Depending on the type of business you have, you may need to register other types of program accounts. The nine-digit registration number will not change, but the other letters will be added to the business number. You will also need to verify that the Use for T4ers checkbox is selected. Once you confirmed all the information is correct, click Save Changes, and then click Close, and then Save to exit the 7-2 window. Now that you verified your CRA program account number is correct, you're ready to start the process to file your T4s. You'll start by selecting the Payroll menu, and then Federal Tax Filing, and Federal Forms. Here in the Federal Tax Forms and e-filing window, select the T4 Official Form. Next, specify the year you're completing the forms from the list, and then click Run Report. The program will verify your current installation of Atrix Forms. You will be prompted to select which form to create. Select the T4 Official Report and click OK. Now the T4 Setup Wizard opens, which will guide you through the rest of the process. Your company's account number that you set up under your Company Information, CRA Program Accounts window, in Payroll will prefill. Confirm it's correct and then click Next. The company information that will be printed on your T4 forms is displayed here. Make any necessary changes and then click Next. In this window, indicate whether you'd like to do a test run or start processing the official T4 slips. When you do a test drive, you can work through the process of creating the T4s, but nothing is saved and official copies cannot be produced. In this example, we'll select No Thanks, Start Processing My T4 Slips in T4 Summary, and click Next to continue. If your payroll data is stored in separate company folders and needs to be consolidated for tax reporting, you can do so by selecting Yes, I use multiple PR data files for this account. In this example, all of the payroll data is held in a single file, so we'll select No and then click Next. The T4 Preparer window opens. In this window, the information for each employee is displayed in rows, and in each column represents a value that will print in a cell on the T4 form. Notice at the top of each column it indicates which box the information that is displayed will be placed on the T4 slip. Take a moment to confirm that the static information for each employee, things like the social insurance number, name, address information, prefills correctly from your software. You can make changes in the grid here. However, doing so will not update your records and payroll itself, so it is recommended that instead close this window and make the corrections in your payroll application. Then return to this window after the corrections have been made. When you're ready, click the Next Step button to move along in the process. Now you have the ability to select any of the exempt status checkboxes for boxes 14, 15, and 16 on the T4 slips. If any employees are exempt from these taxes, select the checkboxes as appropriate in the table, then click Next Step. Now the focus in this window shifts to the right side. 
Here you'll see all the values for the remaining boxes on the T4 slip. The values for things like employment income for box 14, employee CPP contributions in box 16, and as you scroll further to the right, you can see the other columns for the income tax deducted and the employer side of EI and CPP. Just like the employee information, you have the ability to make changes to anything that is displayed in this window. But just like the employee information, changes made here do not update the information in your payroll. So again, we would recommend you close out of this window and make corrections in payroll, and then come back and finish up the T4s. Once you confirm that all the T4 information for each employee is correct, click Next Step. As long as there are no errors detected, the T4 Filing and Printing Options window will open. The selections you make here will determine how the T4 slips are distributed to your employees and how the T4 and T4 Summary information is to be submitted to the Canada Revenue Agency. If you select a complete T4 e-filing service, Atrix will handle the printing and the mailing of the employee copies, which it does for a modest fee. And they will also transmit the information to the CRA for you free of charge. If you select this option, you will then be prompted to print internal copies of the T4 and the T4 summary, then provide a date for the information to be submitted. If you instead prefer to print and mail the employee T4 copies on your own, select Other Options and select Print My Employee T4s. You still have the option to take advantage of the free e-filing service to submit the T4 and T4 summary to the CRA. If you'd like to utilize this service, leave the e-file federal and T4 summary box selected. Once you've made your selections, click Next. And a window will open that displays the selections you made. You can print the information in this window for record keeping purposes using the print button. In this example, we selected to e-file the T4 and T4 summary and then print and mail the employee T4s manually. Click Next to start the process of printing and e-filing of the forms. The form viewer opens, which will guide you through the remaining steps. The action toolbar at the top will indicate what step you're on which copy is being displayed, and how many you have remaining. You can toggle between pages using the buttons in the top left-hand corner. When you're ready to print this copy, click the Next button. And when you're asked if you'd like to print the copy, click Yes. Since we selected to e-file the T4 information to the Canada Revenue Agency, there's a message at the top indicating that this copy being printed is strictly for internal purposes and should not be submitted to the government. In the Preferences section, you can select your paper source, which pages to print, and how many copies you want to print. And down below, you can even change which printer to use. Once you've made your selections to the correct printing options, click OK. And now, in the Action Toolbar, you can see that we are now on Report 2 of 4, the T4 Summary. To complete the T4 Summary, you will need to enter in the amount of remittance. The amount you enter here is only used for Box 82 on the T4 Summary and will not have any impact on the individual T4 slips. Once you've entered in the correct amount, click Next Step and click Yes in the Prompt window. And since this information is also being e-filed, we're printing an internal only copy. You can change any of the printer options as needed. And when ready, click OK. And now it moves to report 3 of 4, the employee copy of the T4. You can again toggle between pages using the buttons in the top left. When you're ready to print this copy, click Next Step. And again, answer yes to the prompt. Notice the message at the top this time. Since we chose to print and mail the T4 forms, rather than having them e-filed, the copy we are printing in this step is the certified copy that will be mailed to the employees. Had we selected e-file these as well, this too would be an internal-only copy. Again, you can specify any special printing options you like, and when ready, click OK. And the Action Toolbar moves from Report 4 of 4, the T4 Employee Instructions. If you're printing and mailing these forms to your employees, you will want to include a copy of this document along with the T4. 
Your software will produce a single copy of this document now that you can use to make copies. To print this, click Next Step. Specify your printing options and click OK. Since we chose to e-file the T4 and T4 summary to the CRA, we are now prompted to complete the e-filing process. If this is your first time using this and you've not yet created your e-file account, you'll see this window. To create your account, click the Enroll button. And you can view the lesson titled Create an e-file account included in the year-end Anytime Learning subscription available on CAGU.com for step-by-step -step instructions on this process. Once you've completed your registration, click I have enrolled and I have my logon ID. And in this window, enter the username and password for your e-filing account. Once you've logged in, follow the prompts to select a date for your T4 and T4 summary information to be filed with the CRA and submit the information. Atrix will file the information with CRA on the date you specify in the process. If you selected any of the services that have fees associated with them, such as a complete e-file package, which includes the printing and mailing of the T4 forms to your employees, you'll be asked to provide a method of payment in this process also. Once you've completed this, you can check the status of your filings by logging into your e-filing account at efileca.atrix.com. Now that you've completed this lesson, you should be able to verify your CRA program account number and create T4 slips and the T4 summary in the software. You'll utilize the different filing options you have to submit your T4 information, either by printing, mailing the forms, or using the e-file service.